thing you played me. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd try and do something a little bit different and I'm going to do a clothing haul. One of my new obsessions is watching clothing hauls on YouTube so I thought, you know what, why not give it a go? Um, I've noticed there are a few, well, there's lots of different plus size um, websites out there that you can buy clothes and I wanted to see how accurate their sizing actually was. So I did a little bit of research and I came across a pretty little thing and I watched some videos where um, people were talking about the sizing and everything and I went onto the website and when you choose your sizes it said select in a U size and I went, I know what size I am in Australia, I'll just choose that. It was my first mistake. Later on after I got these clothes and I'll show you what I'm talking about, um, I went back onto the website and went to the sizing guide which I should have done first and noticed that the UK sizes and the Australia sizes were the same and in reality I know that in a UK size I need to size up twice so some of these clothes were a little bit snug to say the least I did do an intro but I just wanted to add that um, I actually let Bethany and Haley pick my clothes for this clothing haul so you can see all that mess back there that's all the clothes I just tried on um, Bethany and Haley got to choose all those for me I did add a couple of things in there um, that I wanted to try myself some things they didn't ship out because they let me order this is what I don't understand they let me order it they let me pay for it and then when they went to ship it they said they couldn't ship some items because they went in stock so I thought that was a bit strange I'll just go and try it all on and show you what it looks like Okay, so this t-shirt here just says Scream Queen. Just a plain old white tee. Now I usually buy oversized t-shirts from Kmart and um, pair them with some boxes. I'm just gonna put my hair up. And I sleep in these, but this one feels quite snug. Now this size, I'm pretty sure this was a 22 to 24. I bought it, I'm a usually a 20, so I bought this in a 22 to 24 thinking I was gonna have some room. Okay, so this is a plus white Scream Queen t-shirt and it says 12, so I'm assuming that was $12, so pretty little thing, um, <laughs> when I went onto the website to have a look, had a 50% off and if you don't buy it, you know, you're going to miss out, you've got an hour and 40 minutes, so I was like, yeah, doing some shopping and everything and then I realised two days later when I went back onto the website that that sale must be a continuous thing because it was back on. So they're always having a 50% off sale. It's $12, it is what it is. It's plain white tea, it's good quality. It's not like it's cheap or it's not thin, it's not too see-through, so yeah. For 12 bucks. Okay, so these jeans, the other thing I bought, I don't know if you can see them. These are plus size mid-rise, I believe. I got these in a size 20. Um, They fit. And then they are, so, and they're just jeans. They're not, I, I typically wear skinny jeans and a little bit higher waisted. So these aren't exactly skinny at my ankles. I don't know if you can see that, but they're quite loose around my ankles. They're quite long, which is good, but they probably sit a little bit lower than I like. They sit oh, just above my waist, my bum line, I suppose, my waist. Typically like, I like a higher rise and a more tight, um, Jean, these do feel a little bit, they're extremely stretchy, which is great. I did get these in a 20 and they do feel a little bit bulky around the crutch area, but um, I think these were only 20 bucks. So, pockets, can't go wrong with pockets. No pockets at the front, but for 20 bucks, I don't mind them, I'll wear them. Not with this t-shirt, obviously, but Speaking of t-shirts, okay, this is another t-shirt I bought and, and it's just a black t-shirt that has black is my happy colour on it. Um, I bought this in a size, I think it's a 24. It's a 22. This is a 22. What the hell? How can they sell? such like I got a photo actually I'll probably I'll try and insert it in here I have a photo of Bethany and Haley both wearing this t-shirt let me put it on so here it is it's just I don't know what to say like it's the sizing the difference in the sizing 
like what is this this is more like this is roomy i would definitely be comfortable slipping this in some undies or whatever some little boxer shorts it's massive but what i can't get over is the difference between these two t-shirts i bought them both off the same website both from the same section and this one is tiny compared to, I mean it's not tiny but it's small compared to this one but anyway so this is this t-shirt I'm quite happy with that I'll show you the. I'm going to show you the things that I'm okay with before I show you the things I'm disappointed in this is the um, plus size black floral twist at the front dress this dress is the most expensive that I bought it was $35 um, now I bought this in a size 20, a UK size 20. It is a little bit snug around my arms, but and the tags to get into my back right here. I have to get rid of this string thing. It, I mean, it's nice. Is it $35 nice though? I'm not sure. It's quite thin material. It, does, it has a zipper all the way up the back, which is nice. It has a split at the front, and I have to say that I'd have to put a little pin in here because, excuse me, flashing, but that comes all the way off, and that is a split at the front. So that's my underwear. Boop, boop. Um, so when I'm walking, this does tend to fly open a bit. So I'd have to wear either something underneath it or um, pin it up a little bit down there, but I'm not sure about this dress. I really like it. I love the pattern, love the feel. Other than the around my arms where it's quite tight, maybe I just need to get a bigger size, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think about this dress? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe with a different bra. I don't know, but this is the next dress. This is $25, it's called the Plus Size Burgundy Plunge Split. <clears throat> Obviously it's quite plungy. If I was to keep it, I'd um, have to get a different bra to wear underneath it. I don't know what's happening here. Like, what's, I don't know why this is so loose here and nothing here. Like the actual cut of it's weird. Um, the dress itself is quite nice, so like nice style. Okay, this is where the split comes up to guys, all right? The split is very high. Now, sorry if this is disturbing to a lot of you, but that's my belly. This, like, if you can see the black, that's my underwear. Nobody needs to see that high of my dress. Nobody. I mean, it feels nice. It's one of those materials that shows you all your bumps, so you'd have to wear some nice control panties. Um, the funny thing about this, clothing haul is that I had the kids had the girls try on some of these clothes and this actually looked lovely on Hayley it was a little bit big but it looked beautiful on her I think I'll have to send this one back too just because I mean I mean it's not working for me um you know what else is not working for me I'm not even gonna bother trying this one on so this is called the black the plus black ribbed square neck midi dress and it looks really nice on the website I got this in a size 20, pulled it out of its packet, and went, oh, it's that nice ribbed material, right? It will stretch. I couldn't even get it over my boobs. Like, seriously, how is that a size, how is this? How is this a size 20? Look at it, like it's, I'll try, like, I'll try and put it on over this top to show you, like, this, I can't even, look at how, like, this is, there is no stretch in this. There is no way. There is no way in hell this has gone over my voluptuous body. I can't even get... <laughs> like, seriously? Okay, so we've gone back for the baggy t-shirt, which is cool. But the next thing I wanna show you are these pants. So I'll try and... Yeah. Um, these ones I are, I'm not keeping either. They don't fit quite right. They're very stretchy, extremely stretchy, but you can, like the crutch is all the way down here. Plus size crew, eyelet ankle, I don't know if you can see, but 
the ankle actually has all these little eyelets in it. I don't like these. They don't feel comfortable. They don't look good. They're um they're going back. I don't know if I have to really say much about them, but I mean just no. Okay, so we're getting to the um stuff that we're not keeping. This next item. Look, these are quite a popular fashion trend at the moment. They're the paper bag wasted pants. So I thought, you know, these look really smart. I could wear them to work. They look like some nice dress dress pants type material. Eh, no. So these are the striped paper bag waist pants. Please refrain from laughing. Wow. My belly's hanging out, they've got clown legs. Pretty sure they're supposed to be loose. Where's the paper bag? Oh yeah, here it is. Um just no. These are like a nudie colour. Um, they're st plus stone paper bag skinny leg. So instead of flaring out at the end, they actually go down into a skinny leg. They look beautiful when you hold them up. They look beautiful in the model. It looks like I'm nude. It's the same colour as my skin. Actually, it's a little bit more tan than my skin. But um, if I put the, you can see everything in these. Like you see every single bump, nook and cranny of my body. So I'm not going to try those on for you, but I mean, Bethany picked those and they look good on Bethany if they were just in a smaller size. So maybe I'll send them back and get a, so do these stripe ones actually. Okay, so the last few things I wanted to show you. Um, I've got two bodysuits. It's really pretty. It's actually quite silky. It looks beautiful. My problem is I couldn't even get this bodysuit snaps to go underneath to snap up. Um, apart from that, this feels beautiful. And in fact, I might actually, I might actually get this in a bigger size. This was $20. So this is a plus, plus pale pink floral wrap. It's not a real wrap, it's a fake wrap. Um, but absolutely beautiful, just did not fit my crutch. The other bodysuit was exactly the same. I couldn't do it up, I couldn't get it down. I mean, look how short this is. This is also a UK 20, so I've got everything in a UK 20. Um, I actually ordered everything in an Australian 20, thinking it was proper sizing. I should have read. A little bit further because it wasn't so yeah but this this I mean that's not it hasn't got very much I mean it's got a little bit of stretch obviously but and this is supposed to be a g-string one um it's just a plain white bodysuit I thought I could wear it underneath things with my jeans and a jacket or something but anyway couldn't even I get literally get it here and that, that was it I couldn't get it over my belly this last top is actually quite cute um it's plus size, where is it? Navy cold shoulder frill top. I have to find the correct name for it. I wouldn't wear this bra with it, obviously, but I mean, it looks cute. And I love the shot the cold shoulder, like the cutouts. But this top actually sits quite short on me. And um, I'm, I don't like this area of my body. I like tops that hide, but I've got it. And this top, if it was a little bit longer at the front, I would absolutely adore, but it actually cuts off right here and you get to see all my baggage right here. So, I mean, from this angle, it actually looks quite good. I don't mind it, but, um, yeah, it's a shame because it's a cute top. These jeans are just my everyday stretchy waistband jeans. I don't even know where they're from, probably autograph or something like that, but, um, not included in this haul. But yeah, that's it. That's the last thing in my haul. So, so yeah, I'll try and leave everything. Um, that was my stomach. I'm actually not looking real. I'll leave everything down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of the items I showed you, or if you want to check out Pretty Little Things. Um, they're really not a bad website. I think some of the clothes are really good if I just got the right size and if I had read up about it, invested in a measure measuring tape. 
and measure myself because although I'm a size 20, um, I guess different companies, different sizes, you know, so I might, I'm actually, one of my favourite stores is City Chic. Um, and there's one here in Manomini, in, in Queensland in Manomini, so I might actually go buy some clothes from there. I know the clothes there fit me, they're just a little bit more expensive than these. But I'm thinking, if you guys like these clothing hauls, let me know and I'll do some more. And I'm going to show you some other plus size options that are around. There are a couple of websites that do plus size. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of issues with sizing when it comes to the American side. So I want to try Fashion Over Curve because they have um, quite a few nice things on there. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.